A very good morning once again. Welcome to White 54. This is Why in the Morning. And this uh, particular segment is MCM, that is Man Crush Monday. We chose not to discuss relationships today to, so that we focus on other things that um, are also important in life as relationships, as social talks are important. And today we are going to talk about scholarships. How do you get scholarship? How valuable are them? How do you know the genuine ones from the fake ones? And who deserves them? All that we are going to answer in this. My name is Sankara Kayesu, and I'm not alone in studio. I am with people who are in this directly, those who are going to help us find solutions. And they are here. This is Purity Kavata and this is Eric Arwa. We are going to start with Purity Kavata. How are you, Purity? I'm fine. Can you introduce yourself so that we may know you better? My name is Purity Kavata, a student at KCA University main campus, Ruaraka. I'm pursuing a degree in accounts. Yes, I'm a third year student. Oh, do you have social media handles? Yep. Yes. My Instagram handle is underscore Kavata. And uh, my Facebook handle is Pretty Humble Puri. Oh, are you humble? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to do that. Eric, yes. how are you, brother? I'm good. I know I'm calling you brother. We have some history. A lot of brotherhood. Yeah, a background. lot of brotherhood is it, yes. <laughs> there yes, are true. people who don't know who Eric is, so please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Eric Arwa. Um, I'm the business development officer at uh, Bafunde. Bafunde is an education technology company mm. that helps teachers meet their students online. Mm. So as a business development officer, my, I am the client facing face of Bafunde. I help Bafunde in cu customer acquisition, contract, uh, uh, contract uh, negotiations, and customer onboarding. And mm. I help clients on board so that they can make good use of education technology platforms that we have built. Do you have social media handles? Yes, I'm yes. in Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. In Twitter, I'm Eric Arua, at Eric, Eric Arua. And in Facebook, I'm Odiambo Arua. Mm. Does Bafunde help people get scholarship? Uh, no, Bafunde uh, focuses on technology. Oh. Technology that, that enables people meet they are teachers online mm. without necessarily having brick and mortar. Oh, yeah, that's great. Uh, there's a particular uh, reason why I chose you for this. Uh, yes. have, you, have you ever got a scholarship? Yes, I've received uh, uh, scholarships. S yes. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> there are some that I've not accepted. There are others that I've accepted and taken. I am interested in the fact that you are the one to accept. When people seek, then it's like you are the one being sought by these scholarships. No. When you are out hunting, you look for so many animals. Mm. But once you have met them, you have to decide which one you want to pursue. That's why you are here in this yes. forum. You are our expert in this forum because you are going to learn how to get them and maybe how to get to know the fake ones from the genuine ones. But let's come back to Kavata. Kavata, have you ever tried, have you ever got a scholarship? No, I haven't gotten any scholarship. Uh, but I have friends uh, that have tried seeking scholarships. Uh, some have gotten them mm, and some have not. Mm. Yeah. Have Personally, you tried seeking? The only kind of scholarship that I have tried to seek is only help, mm. which is not a full scholarship. It mm. is a partial. Mm. Yeah. And uh, did you get help? Yeah, I did. Are you interested in getting any scholarship? Are you or you are self-sufficient? You have enough funds? No, I'm not self-sufficient. Mm. Given a chance, I would want to seek one. Mm. So you are our typical example of a student needing scholarship or fee or educational support uh, for that matter. And Eric here is going to help us together. So if you have anything that you need to know about this scholarship thing, let's together engage Eric so that he will tell us. Tell us your journey with scholarship. Tell us the types of scholarship you've got so that we know what we're talking about, Eric. 
Uh, I, I, I just had her speak about help. Mm -hmm. I also I got help. Mm -hmm. I got all the money they they can offer mm -hmm. full. Uh, uh, all the help full funding, and they also offer bursary. I also got the bursary, which is not paid. Oh yes, is help scholarship or a loan? I, I I just had her speak about help, uh, yes. so I, I just wanted to make make a note. And um, the other one, which is normally called scholarship, but is not really scholarship, mm. is the Equity Bank Pre-University Program. Oh, that one is not scholarship. It's not a scholarship. What uh, is it? It's it's an internship, pre-university training or attachment that gives you an opportunity to gain work ethics before you get to to college. The wings to fly thing? No, the wings to fly thing is a scholarship. There is a difference between wings to fly and pre-university program. Oh, so pre-university okay. program takes the best per district oh. at the end of every KCSE mm -hmm. cycle. Mm -hmm. So those who are taken from that pack, uh, that lot, they are, uh, they are employed in the bank as, as, as relationship officers. Relationship officer is a general term for a teller, accounts opening, inquiries, and all those things. All those people who engage clients at, at the banking hall are called relationship officers. Mm. So at that level, you are, you are trained on work ethics, how to negotiate, how to serve people whom you don't know and people who are maturer than you. And then you are paid some uh, monthly stipend from which you save to go and which you can use during your campus. Okay, yes. now tell us the scholarship that you got, that you've got, a, what you now call a clean scholarship, <laughs> where you get, you get a, a educational fund support fully and they don't expect anything back. Yes, I, I applied and, and won the Mandela Rhodes Foundation Scholarship. Mandela Rhodes? Mandela Rhodes. Uh -huh. uh, that is a... a, a uh, it was a, um, a partnership between Mandela, Nelson Mandela Foundation mm. and the Rhodes Trust. Mm. So they, 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 they sponsor at, at least 30 students from all over Africa to take uh, any of the courses that are offered by South African universities. So in my year, we were about 7,500 applicants. 7,500? Yes, all from all over Africa. But they and wanted just 30? They took 34 during my year. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I was the only one from Kenya. How did you know that there is such a scholarship? So, a friend told me about it. A friend who had won it, who was a, a classmate called Waswa. And uh, it was a very good friend. He told me that I'm, f I'm qualified for it and I can win it. Yeah. At that time, I was looking for scholarships. So when, I, when, I, when you want to look for scholarships, you start from people whom you think may have received them. Mm -hmm. Then they tell you this one is available, this one is available, and they, they may tell you more about it. Kavata, Kavata, are you getting, uh, now that you can get clue of how you can get scholarship through friends? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we are, we are interested to know more about how you can know there are scholarship opportunities from you, Eric. Yeah, so normally when you have just graduated and you are seeking scholarships, it, it's necessary that you know which, which schools, which places you want to go to. Maybe you want to go to South Africa, you want to look at the top universities in South Africa, and almost all good universities have funding pages or funding sites in their websites. All so, leading universities? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good universities that oh. care for their students. They always give a list of all the sources of funding that their students enjoy. Mm -hmm. So you will find lists of... Uh, for for example, where I went to University of Cape Town, you'll have a list of all the scholarships, possible scholarships that their students can apply apply mm. for. Mm. Uh, if you go to uh, other universities abroad, you'll also find the same. Done. Uh, a university will list Chevening Scholarship, Commonwealth Shared Scholarship, Commonwealth Scholarship, and so many other scholarships mm. that are offered to their students even if they are not from within the university mm. they are just scholarships that their students enjoy 
from within. Oh, oh, the, you've told us two sources. Are you interested in knowing what you can ask, you actually ask if you have a, a question, eh? because we are learning together. You've told us two sources. One is uh, through friends. Two is through university websites. Yes. So you just go to their page and uh, see the fundings that that uh, that they offer. Yes. Uh, for example, if you are going for a postgraduate program, then you just go to their admissions. They will look at postgraduate funding. Mm. Almost all good universities will have that portion. Okay. Uh, that section in their website, postgraduate funding. Now give us the, uh, uh, the elephant in the room about the scammers. Do, can't there be just a fake website where you go and get that some university is recruiting or, uh, or uh, is calling for a scholarship, those who need scholarship, then it turns out to be fake because in our, in our uh, social media platforms, that is in Facebook, we asked, and Twitter, we asked that is higher education scholarship has come in Kenya. And and uh, the people are crying that uh, they have been scammed. Uh, yes, so normally you can't, you can't hear that University of Nairobi is offering a scholarship and they don't have it announced in, its, in their own website, uh -huh. official website. Uh -huh. <laughs> that can, it can't happen because uh, universities are corporate bodies and corporate governance is a major, a major part of their uh, operations. Mm. They spend a lot of money in public relations and corporate governance. The first thing a university will do when they are offering a scholarship is to post it in their official website and share it in their, in their official uh, social media uh, accounts. Mm. That one, you are sure it is not a scam. But if it is said that University of Nairobi is offering a scholarship and then the, web, the link leads you to another website which is not University's Ni of, uh, University of Nairobi's official website, then that is a scam. Have you ever been scammed, Kavata, in anything? <laughs> in anything, uh, even if it's not scholarship? Yes. Yeah. Uh, did you do the due diligence? Like we're saying that uh, if you are getting a scholarship or anything that is offered by any company, mm -hmm. then it has to lead you to the official website of that company. Uh, how was your scamming history? So my scam was on Instagram. Uh -huh. I actually saw an iPhone. Mm. And I thought it was their official handle, their mm -hmm. official page. Mm -hmm. So I actually paid money. What? I actually paid like half of the money. Mm, so that uh, they ship it to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after I had paid, I communicated to them for like two hours. And then after that, I couldn't reach out to them again. So that's why I realized they were scammed. How much are we talking about here? I had paid 30,000. <laughs> Yes, but are you yes. learning something from yeah, from Mary? <laughs> yes, that you can know if it's true. You can know it's true when it leads you to the official. I don't know how you can know it's official website, Eric, because some people make something that really resembles what is official. Right, it's difficult. You know, domain names are are protected. Domain uh. names are what you call like if you have. Account as uh, a website called y254.com. Yes, yes. It's, it's it's protected. There's no other website that can have it in that manner. And mm. then normally, if you find the, the the domain name starts with https, mm. if there's no s, mm. it's just http. Mm. Then you have a, you have trouble. There's that s means secured. So they secure the website using certain. Uh, uh, technical technologies so when uh, a scammer's website will just be coming will just appear as http then eric you know you're speaking like engineer you are an engineer <laughs> and you didn't say that during your introduction i, uh, I know you uh, so uh the s in https is security yes so that 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 is that shows that 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 uh, site has been secured and it's an, an official domain for a particular registered corporate body mm. and it's not for scammers. Scammers will come up and just register a, a website and, and 
do anything with it. Looks so like it's like Kavata's website didn't have S, so it's like <laughs> HPTT, HP, TTP, and then it's uh, slash uh, iPhone, and then maybe dot com or something like that. Yes. Uh, okay. I've learned. I've so learned norma that normally you will find very many universities will end with the dot. There's, it's rare you will find a university ending with the dot com. Oh. How do all, how do they all end? university end with dot edu dot c a a dot c a dot a c a a c means academic mm. dot dot edu means dot education. Mm. It's rare that you will find university sites official mm. university sites ending mm. with dot com mm. dot com ne or dot net. Dot com <laughs> 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 okay, Eric, we back to this scholarship thing. Uh, you told me before that you had one scholarship to around three scholarships to do PhD, two in US and one in Canada, and you opted for the other. Uh, I'm looking for the winning ways. How do you just win? Because it's competitive, like the one you told me in South Africa. You are over 7,000 people, and only 34 people were taken. What did these 42 people do that the other 6,000 and others didn't do? Um, every, every body that is offering a scholarship has a particular selection criterion. The selection criterion is easy to follow, because normally it's easy for someone to just read. They need people with first-class honors. They need people who are stro have strong leadership background. They need people who are from Africa. There are some who will be that specific. They need women. So those eligibility criteria are, are easy to, 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 to get to. Where things, uh, where, where they separate people is the understanding of their philosophy. Mm. Understanding and alignment with their philosophy. Every scholarship is set up for a particular reason. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, overlying philosophy that drives the, the founders and the funders? Mm -hmm. they are, they are, the founders and funders are different. There are people oh. who come up with a scholarship idea mm -hmm. and they, 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 they prosecute it before people mm -hmm. and they publish, publish it. And they are the ones that run it. But then there are the funders, they are those who finance. The, the, the scholarship program. You need, as a, as, a, as a person who is seeking the scholarship, you need to look at the philosophies that drive these people. If they are interested in women, are they, are they posing as people who are, who are sh showing women that they can take part in STEM, or science, technology, uh, mathematics, engineering uh, courses, or they are looking for women who are activists, who are trying to, to to show that they, 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 they strengthen women? Or is, are these people looking for black, black innovators? They are, they, are, they are very clear philosophies that drive these this people. Mm. The people, not the, the program, mm. the people mm. in the program that are really key founders and funders of the, the scholarship. Mm. If you study that philosophy very well, then you can easily align your, your statements to those philosophies. It will be very easy to identify that, those kind of people. They will be listening to the way you speak, the things you say about yourself, because there's so much about yourself. There's academics, there's your upbringing at home. There's also the networks that you have built from, from other sources. There is, uh, there is religion, there is politics, there are a lot of things that you have taken part in. How you select those things and how they affect the way you express yourself during scholarship interviews or the way you express yourself in your, in your application documents will inform, will tell the, the, those who are evaluating you whether you understand their philosophy and your, your life in general is aligned to that, that philosophy. Okay. So that understanding is the most important. For example, Mandela Rhodes Foundation was in, is interested in people who can 
show leadership in terms of bringing people together, people of diverse opinions. They are interested in looking for innovators who are entrepreneurial in mind. They are looking for people who have deep love for Africa and her people. Okay. So that, that they need to establish from the way you speak. Kavata, are you seeing yourself qualified for those? <laughs> well, I think from what he has said, every every organization that is giving you a scholarship has its own guidelines. Mm. For example, they could be giving you a scholarship maybe due to your needs mm. or maybe you have to be in a certain organization for you to get the scholarship or maybe you need to have some grades. Maybe you need to be to be smart enough. Mm. Like maybe you passed in your KCSE, mm. you have nice grades. Mm. Yeah. But you see you can yeah, yeah, I can. Mm. Because it's it's broad. Yeah. It's they can give you maybe because of your needs. You see it's broad. Mm. It's mm. giving everyone an opportunity mm. to see where they fit in. But but he's saying he's talking like you you study first what they need, then you put yourself to be that person, like you present yourself to be that kind of person. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know that uh, the STEM the um, the Mandela, Mandela what yes. is about leadership because I know you as a scientist, a smart scientist. <laughs> so I thought it's just people who are just uh, know a lot of science and know uh, maybe performers and all that. Oh, but the yeah. way this guy was number one in chemistry, Kenya Mzima, in the year 2012. Sylvia, was it 2012 or 20? 2009. Uh, 2009. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2009. You know, see those NZ, then uh, what number one to what was paraded in the in the paper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy was the best countrywide in chemistry number one, and I think you were number what countrywide like the overall. Fourteen. Yeah, number fourteen, like was number fourteen kwa Kenya Zima. So I thought maybe that's what made him qualify for that. And uh, <laughs> leadership, you are not a leader at the university. So I don't know how you are winning uh, this leadership. <laughs> things. You, are, you are not a politician uh, at uh, the university. As, um, Normally, I know. leadership, when they talk about leadership, there's no particular kind of leadership that they are looking for. I, by starting my own business, it means that I'm going to lead people. Uh, I had started several businesses and planted 30,000 trees that requires a lot of leadership. It means you have to learn to negotiate contracts because I didn't have money to mm -hmm. plant on those trees. Mm -hmm. um, there's also self-leadership. There are people who come from, from backgrounds where they have to do so much by themselves. Yesterday I was just commenting in my, my WhatsApp that there's this time when you needed something so bad from your dad and you knew very well if you approach your mom, it would be a valid connection mm -hmm. that would help you get that thing out of that. Mm. But there are some of us who didn't have that, mm. that basic connection mm. where you could. So you, you start networking from nothing. There are people who had their mothers as a network to their father or a, a, a senior. A senior sibling. Yes. Yes. Who approach their mother on their behalf. Mm -hmm. Now, from there, they learn that through someone you can get something. Okay. When you get get out, you start learning how to make networks so that you can get jobs and internships and scholarships and so many other favors. As we had to learn from. From, we had to learn those things from our our own by ourselves, and that means. For you to be able to push through until you finish university mm -hmm. and set up yourself as a self-sustaining system mm -hmm. without your parents, mm -hmm. that means you, are, you, you really need a lot of self-leadership. Mm -hmm. And that is part of leadership, understanding oneself and seeing how you are able to influence others so that your best is used to to create the more get the most out of this one. Kabata, are you seeing that you don't have to be a politician to be a leader? 
Like he was not a politician at the university, and now see how he has led, and his leadership has borne fruits. He's an engineer by training, but he led people in the agricultural or forest till they achieved what could uh, what the Mandela well, the scholarship panel like would be convinced that this is a true leader. Yeah, so you can you can lead even out of politics. Some of us were politicians and we've not been recognized. <laughs> there's, there's something about politics. Let me just make a comment. On yes, that. yes. <coughs> Standing for, for running for position is not the only politics. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, James Mwangi, mm -hmm. the Equity Bank CEO, mm -hmm. is not just an executive. Mm -hmm. He's actually a politician. Mm. Because to be a CEO of a company, a public, a public limited company, you need to convince shareholders on so many things. Mm. And then you are the guy who, who connects the board mm. with shareholders and the staff. That is a political seat. Mm. As, a, as much as it is also a really executive seat, it is very political. Then there, is, there are also these people who influence politicians. Uh, I, I guess you may not know, but I was in, 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 in the secretariat for some two guys who were running in KU, and one was running for chairmanship in, in JQuad. Mm. And I was, uh, I was very influential in their, in, in their fundraising, mm. in, their, in their manifestos, and all that. That is politics. Mm. So <laughs> politics is not just running for office. Okay. There are people who who play a lot of politics. You don't you don't hear them. Mm. You just you, you, you just realize that their influence was very important. Like Chris Kirubi, mm. you didn't know that Chris Kirubi introduced um, uh, the, the, the the deputy governor is called who? The former one, you got the, yes, uh, to, to Mike Sonko mm. and made him deputy governor. That there was. That is politics. Yeah, that is politics. <laughs> that is a lot of politics. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I wish we will create time for that yeah. politics out of politics. We will talk about <laughs> it. And today is scholarship. scholarship. We are interested to know, Eric, uh, yes. the process of how you follow till you reach, now you get the funds or you get the scholarship. Uh, after identifying uh, the scholarship opportunity, uh, what follows? So normally, um, the, every scholarship will have a, a, a application process. You will find they have written apply or how to apply. Mm -hmm. So that how to apply, mm -hmm. if possible, just print that, uh, that site out and, and follow it word for word. Because if you don't follow the instructions, you are cooked. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, look at what are the documents, the, what documents do they need? Mm -hmm make sure that you have those documents in the format they need them. Mm. You need them delivered physically, you need to have paper copies of them. And if they need them certified, look for a lawyer, let the lawyer stamp them. Normally a commissioner of oaths that can notarize the documents. To notarize is to, to, to attest that there are two copies of the original. Oh, it has nothing to do with notorious. No, no. <laughs> 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 a commission of oaths will notarize. So after sending, they invite people for interviews, like a physical, face-to-face -face interview or something? Yes, so Mandela, Mandela Rhodes Foundation, you have to attend a physical interview in Cape mm. Town. Mm. In, go to Cape Town and attend the interview. You are in Kenya. You've not, uh, you're not sure you're going to get that, but you nachoma to fair to Cape Town to just do interview and come <laughs> back to Kenya. <laughs> no, and Laros Foundation will pay the full uh, cost of airfare. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, but that's you will look for your visa. It will cost you about uh, about 10,000 to get the visa. That is if you are starting from looking for the passport mm. and then applying for the visa, you need about 10,000 shillings. Mm. And you'll get a visitor's visa that allows you to get to South Africa and stay there for even three months. But for now, you just apply, go and take the interview. What about other, the other scholarships, like the ones for Canada, the ones for uh, USA, or maybe Europe? Are they easy to get? PhD scholarships are very, very interesting because 
<laughs> this is a, a researcher or a professor who has received funding to conduct a particular research mm. in a particular field. So they are looking for qualified personnel to help them conduct that research. Mm. The, normally you will find them in the departmental websites. Mm. Uh, you will find a list of professors and then when you click the site for that professor, you will find the professor has, has announced that they, they have funding for a particular research. Mm. And it will be very specific, like the one was in Canada was for physics-inspired machine learning mm. for, for wind power. Mm. Looking at how to make make sense of wind power using machine learning to predict the the, the, the output profile of mm. a wind turbine. Now, those ones they look for people with particular research qualifications. Uh, so if they are looking for someone in machine learning, they are very specific. We want a machine learning uh, person with this kind of background. Mm. Full stop. Mm. Once you prove that you have understanding of that machine learning, they will take you through an interview, mm. a very technical interview, which involves the professor who, who is the lead researcher, mm. who will try to establish whether you understand that topic. Mm. Then after that, they will ask you to apply for admission. If they approve you at that point, it's almost a 99.9% .9 chance that you are going to be admitted and admission will come with funding. Kavata, you are in the middle of uh, attending your undergraduate eh? and uh, you hear the opportunities for postgraduate education. Uh, are you interested that you will try? Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, because uh, you see it's bright eh? and uh, there are things that you must master now for you to get them. Like he's saying, I think the things he's talking about he master during his undergraduate education. And maybe after, maybe, ma no, maybe master's. Is, any, is your master's has anything to do with uh, physics and engineering and all that? Yeah, my master's was on artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence? Yes, application of artificial intelligence in planning, operation, and control of of power systems, okay. like Kenya Power Grid. <laughs> oh, so yeah. it has something to do with engineering. Yes. There are so many people telling me here on social media platform and I phone on my ear that they, they want you because you, now you are a leader and you are informed about these scholarship things, you lead them into getting these scholarships. How can you do that? They can, they can reach out to me. Uh, Yesterday I had a very wonderful day. One of my mentees just won the, won the world's most prestigious scholarship. That is, that is the Rhodes Trust Scholarship in Oxford. Oh, wow. That is someone who studied in Bidan Kimati oh, University oh, and oh. scored a first class. And we were trying to, to get him to apply for scholarships uh, like uh, the MasterCard Foundation, Scholars Program in UCT, University of Cape Town. And he also tried the Rhodes Trust, and he had an interview. With, an, an interview I connected him to some of my friends who had won the scholarship, and they guided him. I offered a lot of support, and he was in. So, those who wish to to get to get to to connect, to connect with connect you with for mentorship, can, yes. Can look for me in Facebook. They can find me in Twitter. They can. They can also go to my Facebook page called Eric Arua Education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eric Arua Education is where you ask me questions about scholarships. It's called Eric Arua Education? Yes. Oh, there's a Facebook page called Eric, Eric Arua, Arua Education. Education. Wow. Yeah, you will, Eric with CK. Oh. Arua with A-R-W-A. Mm, education. Education. You mm. will find uh, post-scholarship opportunities there. Those who wish to apply for them can find me there. Like that is where this guy found me. Mm. You can also find me in, in, in LinkedIn. You can throw me an, a LinkedIn message, mm. and I will take you through any scholarship as long as I <laughs> I can get the eligibility criterion and then follow through to help you write the necessary essays. Will help you. Purity, our time is really up, and you are here to learn. So can you look at this camera and tell briefly in 30 seconds what you've learned in this session? 
Okay, I have learned that when you want to uh, apply for a scholarship, you need you need to go to where it's saying how to apply so that you will know what they need mm. and how you're going to apply for it. Mm. And then you should also know that every organization that is giving you a scholarship has its own rules. Yeah. So you read them and see if you qualify you are a to good get a lover. scholarship. You are a good lad. I know you've learned so many things apart from that. Nivile, to our time. You are closing remarks, Eric. Scholarships are not one at the time of application. Mm. They are one from your lifestyle. Mm. You build a good profile mm. that is from as early as possible. Then you ensure your transcripts are good. Your leadership and all those other ventures which are ex extracurricular are strong. You have done them and so many other things. And then after that, when you are now apply, you just need someone who can help you consolidate those things to orient them to a particular scholarship requirement. And that is yeah. where you are offering to help yes. Kenyans. Thank you. It's that, that's so generous of you. You are not selfish in, with information and with help. And I think um, that's so good of you. If you need to be president of this country. And we will, other people. We will, <laughs> will <laughs> vote you in. You can serve elsewhere. Oh yes, you will also. That's now the connection. Yeah, elsewhere. Uh, media is about education. It's about uh, entertainment. It's about information. But today was majorly about education. We've educated you on how you can make it if you don't have money to make it, on how you can get linked and make it regardless. Like Eric Arua here has made it and like Kavata now will make it because she has learned and she is confessing so. So um, uh, thank you for uh, doing it thus. Thank you for keeping us company. For everybody who made this possible, we salute you for now. We are getting to the next segment of the day and that is uh, Tano Kali. My name is Ankara Kayesu. Bye. <laughs>